there, coin lovers. Caesar Rodney. There he is. He's on the back of the, the 1999 Delaware Quarter. Here's Caesar Rodney here on his horse. This one actually has the coveted die crack called the spitting horse. You see the see the bit of metal coming right out from the horse's mouth there. If you ask most people who was Caesar Rodney, well, uh, most people, a lot of well, a lot of people, especially the young folks, they'll say they don't know. If you ask, show them the coin, and say who is that? They'll say that's Paul Revere on his horse. And it's not Paul Revere. Paul Revere was from Massachusetts. So Caesar Rodney was from Delaware. He was a member of the Second Continental Congress, and he was in very poor health. They said he had a he had a um, case of cancer around his jaw somewhere. It was really unsightly. He spent a lot of money and time uh, having it treated. And allegedly, one guy, one historian, well, many, more than one, uh, historians believe that he had recently heard of a, a doctor in London who could treat that cancer. Well, Caesar Rodney uh, was called on. He was in Dover, Delaware, taking care of state militia business, which he was in charge of the state militia. And the, the vote was going to be taken again in, in Philadelphia. And so they sent a messenger on a horse to go get him. And since there was no Uber or anything, he had to get on his horse and go back. And he rode all night through the rain, thunderstorm, they say. And he arrived there all muddy and tired and um, got there just in time to cast the swing vote for Delaware, which only had three delegates. He cast the swing vote. Del and Delaware voted along with uh, all, all the other voting states. Um, New York State abstained, but everybody else who voted voted to declare independence from the British, and the United States was born on the 2nd of July, 1776, in large part due to Caesar Rodney and, the, and his horse riding 80 miles in the night. No wonder the horse was spitting, right? So uh, that's Caesar Rodney. If you're, you know, got stuff planned for the for the fourth, take a minute and remember old Caesar Rodney. He was a great American. And um, he rode all through the night. And by the way, he had asthma and everything. And in doing that, he blew all his chances of ever, ever, going to London and getting that cancer treated by this doctor who supposedly could do it. Basically written his own death sentence. So he was, you might say he was no longer a, a friend of the crown, so no dilly dilly for Caesar Rodney anymore. And uh, anyway, hope you all have a great Independence Day. And we'll see y'all around on YouTube. This right here, is my brother playing the guitar so check that out and uh we'll see y'all all around on youtube